come over here. Oh my goodness, hello everybody. We are so glad that y'all came. This is our very first time on Food Talk TV. We are so excited that you guys are here. We love it. Yes. All right. Let's go. So, I am fixing to put some cornbread up in the oven. Right, Mark? Say hello to everybody. Hey, Ready? everybody. Let's How are y'all? Hi, guys. I'll be reading comments for Melissa and Mark, Melissa's husband. So, I'll be reading everybody's comments. I know we welcome y'all into the first episode of The Spice is Right. We are very excited. So the first thing I'm going to do, guys, is put corn kit. I mean, this is not absolutely, come on. This is a mix. Mix. And I'm going to put it in. And we're going to, I got my, uh, in my easy bake, I've got, got my iron skillet that does nothing, nothing but cornbread, cornbread in there. there. Nothing but cornbread. That's all it does. It is a special, special skillet. So, I'm going to pour in here right now. I'm going to pour in here a corn kit. And I know I can do homemade. I do it all the time. But not tonight. Not tonight. Mama has had a bad day at work. So, we're going to put a corn kit in here. We're going to put two-thirds, two-thirds of a cup of milk in here. That's what this is. All right. And we're gonna put one eggy, one eggy in here. Well, we do jumbo eggies here, so this is just a jumbo eggy. So we're gonna put a jumbo eggy in here. We're gonna mix that up. Right, that's what we do. We're gonna do it, and we're gonna pour it in that iron skillet that you guys see in the Easy Bake. We're going to pour that in the easy bake. Okay. Thank you, everybody, for coming in tonight. We appreciate it. See a lot of familiar This is our names. very first Food Talk TV. I am, uh, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm pretty anxious I'm <laughs> because, yeah, I mean, I'm just a Food Talk or a TikTok creator for food. And, but I'm so honored to have been asked to join Food Talk TV. And so I'm so excited. So let me tell you what I want to do with this going forward. Okay, so here's this. We've got this all in here. Kunchi is one of the tick or the uh, Food Talk creators. Uh, Yay, thank you, Kunchi, very much for coming in. And thanks for all the roses. We appreciate that, Kunchi. Sir, sure. thank you so much. Yeah, this is our first show. Jen right. Cutter said you're doing great. Oh, thank you. Thank you, everybody, for coming in. See a lot of familiar names. So we so appreciate you coming thing in. So my first thing that I absolutely love is talk. to put some fresh cracked pepper in it because that's what I do. And you know what else I'm going to do? I'm going to put some sour cream in here because that's what I want to do. I mean, we could do a lot of stuff. But yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna add some sour cream. Thank you, Kunji. He said, welcome to the team. Oh, Kunji, thank you, sir. Good evening to everybody out there. See Tammy, eight, seven, thirties. Join, Joy Joy's here, Paradise. Thank you, guys. Paradise, the menu tonight is chicken cutlet with spicy shells, pinto beans, and broccoli. Thank you so much. You know, I didn't even figure this out until about, let me guess, 30 minutes ago. I was hoping to get it done, but yeah. <clears throat> we all know life happens and we do what we can do, don't we? We absolutely do. We absolutely do. Good evening, everybody. Hey, Heather B. How are you? Good to see you eating and angry. Hey, Thank you for sharing the live. Mark, you're doing what you need to do with that, right? Yes. Absolutely. And another crater is in here with the Food Talk TV Red Wagon Bakery. Welcome. Thank oh, you for the roses. Thank you so much. 
All right, so I just got this little mix. And yeah, normally I don't do a mix, but you know, sometimes that's what you gotta do. And that's what this day came to. So I have got in my Easy Bake Oven, I've got an iron skillet. This is all this iron skillet does. This is the only thing this iron skillet does is make cornbread. That's it. That's the whole thing it does. So now we're gonna pour this. Into the skillet. That's what we're gonna do right there. Boom, done. Let me, okay, thank you, honey. So let me just like scoop all of it out because we're not gonna waste any bit of anything that is delicious like cornbread. Yeah, cornbread is a yum. Thank you everybody for tuning in tonight. Uh, if you just tuned in with us, you are watching Food Talk TV. We're on seven days a week, sometimes multiple times a day. Thank you for tuning in. If any of you are cooks and interested in uh, submitting a video to be on Quick Talk TV, uh, there is a link in the bio to do so. So I'm also going to put some fresh cracked pepper on this because, listen, to me, there's nothing better than fresh cracked pepper. Um, that's like my favorite spice in the whole white world. And let me just put this in here. And you know what? It's just going to go in here. There's other things we're doing, but we're going to put this in here first. Yep. That is going to be in there for 15 to 20 minutes. So I'm going to drop this down in my piece of bag just for me to check it at 15, right? Because, you know, that stuff's not the same, right? You can put it in a, you can put it in, you know, anything. You can put it in corn sticks, you can put it in muffins or whatever, but we're just going to check it in 15 minutes. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get ready. We're going to boil some water over here and we are going to make one of my favorite dishes ever. And I know there's a lot of people that already do it but there's a lot of people that don't. And this is salted water. I'm gonna put a little bit of medium shells in here, just medium shells, but it is a spicy tomato macaroni, but it's with shells. So I guess spicy shells is what I call it. My daughters love it. The other thing we're gonna do is get ready to put some broccoli on the steam. I've got it right here, getting ready to steam. These are pin on beans, guys. I made these pin on beans earlier today. And we're gonna serve those too. And then we're gonna do our chicken cutlets. So you guys know that when you cut the chicken thin, that's the last thing you're gonna do before you serve. So let me get our broccoli out. Let's cut up our broccoli. Hey, Taylor, the Mustard Queen Food Talk TV manager is in the house. Hey, Taylor, how are you tonight? Good to see you. Captain Kirk, how are you tonight? Good to see you, Ronald Sweeney, how are you tonight? Thank you all for coming in, Trini. Thank you for Marty. Appreciate that, and Kunchi. Thank you all both. So, uh, if you just tuned in, Melissa is making on her very first show tonight of the Spice is Right Chicken Cutlets. We are exactly. spicy shells that she just described. We are going to do spicy beans. shells first. We already have our pinto beans already cooked. And now we're going to add some fresh broccoli to steam. We are going to add some fresh broccoli to steam. And guys, I'm going to tell you straight up. I know a lot of you, even the chefs in here, like Taylor or Kaz, listen, I do not believe in, I believe in washing your vegetables, but I don't believe in peeling your vegetables because I believe that those vitamins are very important. So 
Um, I have washed this broccoli. I did not wash this. I rinsed it and I scrubbed it. But yeah. We are going to do some steamed broccoli. Thank you everybody for all the likes. And uh, if you're new to Food Talk TV, please give us a follow. We would greatly appreciate that and uh, appreciate all the taps and the, uh, the love and the likes tonight. Thank y'all. Yeah. Uh, oh, thank you, Red Wagon, for the confetti. Very nice. Appreciate that. One of my favorite things in the whole wide world is broccoli. And let me tell you something. My really biggest favorite thing in the whole wide world is raw vegetables. Not cooked, raw. I love raw vegetables. Good evening, Dixie. Good to see you. How are you doing? Oh, that's awesome. Cats, 10K already in 10 minutes, he pointed oh, out. Thank that's you. fantastic. Thank you all. Thank you guys so much. We love you guys. Thank you guys. Okay, so let me show you what we're doing. We have just got a head of broccoli, which is, come on guys. I could eat this raw, yum, 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 yum. And I don't need ranch or anything. I could just eat it, it's delicious. But I have this wonderful pot here. I'm gonna pull it over here. It's a steamer pot and that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm gonna drop all these broccoli pieces in the steamer pot. Yep, Toby's Jerry agrees with you. Raw with veggie dip. That's uh, a way to do it. I love raw. I do, I do. And it's I'm not a special eater. Come on, guys. I'm not. Look at me. I am a healthy woman. I am not a special eater. It is what it is. Um, let me just cut like some little strips here of um, carrots, which I'm happy to do. Mark is the carrot eater. I love carrots. I myself think they are gross. <laughs> Mark loves them. So I'm going to put them in here. That's what you do, right guys? That's what we do. We just take care of our family. That's what we do. I love it when it is like pickled. And I have a recipe coming soon that's pickled. Thank you, Kunchi, for the confetti also. Thank you, Heather, for the chilies. Appreciate that. Thank you, guys. You guys are so awesome. And good evening to everybody's just come in. Uh, Melissa's making chicken cutlet tonight some spicy macaroni shells and uh, pinto beans and broccoli which she's right. working on right now i do not like to add a whole lot of spice to anything at all because i just don't you know we don't need to add extra salt to our food but i'm going to okay so i'm going to add this super high value lemon pepper you know this is the best brand you can ever buy <laughs> <laughs> so i'm gonna add that oh thank you red wagon for the confetti appreciate that mark likes a bunch of garlic i love garlic too to be honest i do hey good evening joe the bull how are you tonight thanks but for the coming thing in that i really love guys is fresh cracked pepper i mean that is for me it you don't have to put anything else on anything, but you put fresh cracked pepper on it and I am good. There right. you go, Trini agrees. She said that's her brand. Yep, thank you. <laughs> yeah, you, you give me a better brand, a better value, let me know. All right, so that is going in my fifth pot right back here. Can you, I don't know if y'all can see that little, we'll just put it right here if you can. Um, and that's just going to simmer while we're getting everything else done. Kaylee Elizabeth, thank you for uh, finding us and thank you for the follow. We appreciate oh, yeah, that. We love that. Thank Ooh. you for following uh, Food Talk TV tonight and Look at uh, that carrot. join oh, us. We're going in there with that carrot. Okay. So back here, guys, just so I can show you, I have already made this morning, I made a pot of pinto beans. 
That is my very favorite protein in the whole wide world is pinnail beans. It is, I can eat it all day, every day, all day, every day. And I don't add any fat to it. It's just salt and pepper and garlic and onion. So here we go. We're gonna put it back here. We're still warming it. Thank you so much, Kaz and Taylor, for the gifts. We appreciate that. Kaz said about your uh, spice you put on a minute ago, he said, it says great on the label, so you know it's the best. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So over here, I don't know. Can, uh, can y'all see that? I think you can, maybe. Oh, thank you, Food Talk TV. Yeah, thank um, you with the heart, so with the uh, hand heart. Thank you. over here, and this is just honestly, guys, I'm going to tell you straight up. I had a really hard day at work. This is just a corn kit, Morrison corn kit. It can be a Jiffy brand, whatever. But yeah, this is delicious. The thing that I love about Morrison corn kit is it's not sweet. Mark loves when I make Jiffy, but Mama loves when I don't because I don't <laughs> like sweets. Dave's is the one I like. Oh, yeah. Mark Dave's. Loves That's Dave's very sweet. Absolutely. I want to tell you what, Red Wagon and Coonchie are just coming left and right with oh, the, guys, with the gifts. So, so thank you guys. We appreciate that and look forward to seeing your uh, streams here in the next day or two. We love that. Thank you so much. Okay. So, we got to come in here and get going, don't we? Absolutely. Yeah, and y'all please follow uh, on their individual sites as well, Kunchi and uh, Red Wagon. Uh, they are great creators as well on TikTok TV, or Food Talk TV, excuse me. A uh, little slip of the tongue there. Have to get used to. But uh, yes, uh, great creators seven days a week on uh, Food Talk TV. Oh, yeah. We are only on here one day a week, and you know what? <laughs> that's awesome I I mean I'm doing all I can do so we are gonna put guys we're gonna put some bell pepper because I'm just gonna do sauteed I'm just gonna do sauteed oh yeah I've already washed it and I guess what I missed yeah I missed that you know that's what we do we miss that but just so nobody else comes for us we're gonna wash it again Mm-hmm. We're washing again. And I don't know if any of you guys know this, because here's what's really great. I have so much knowledge about nutrition because um, I'm a diabetic nurse educator. If you would cut this out, the white part, do you guys see this? Just cut the white part out. Just the white part. It's going to make a big difference. If people have a GERD or indigestion, you cut this white part out. If y'all are just joining in, you're uh, watching Food Talk TV tonight. Or if you just wipe those seeds out, you're going to be good to go. Mm -hmm. Our show is The Spice is Right on Monday nights now at 6 p.m. Central. And this is our inaugural show so uh, we appreciate you it's turning our first in. show and uh, i'm so sorry with us. yes oh yeah. thank you guys so much for coming in this has been the worst day of my career at work <laughs> but thank you guys for coming in we love you for coming in food talk tv is awesome and right. uh we just hit 20k likes thank y'all so much we thank appreciate the love and support and thank you also everybody for helping us reach our goal we appreciate that all right, so we have washed all this out. Now, before you saute, guys, anytime before you saute, you want to dry what you're sauteing. Make sure if somebody does not do well with bell pepper, aka Mark, Mark does not do well with bell pepper. He loves the flavor of it, but he's like, oh, yeah, I don't feel good after I eat it. And I'm like, oh, guess what? Guess what? I cut all this out and you can do it. Hey, uh, you have a question from DS sure. uh, Kinsey. I uh, wanted to know, is that a BSR skillet? Hmm. 
this skillet right here, this is an iron skillet. Yeah, I'm not sure what, what the BSR is referring to exactly, but are you familiar with that? No. Or is anybody in chat familiar with that? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm not. I mean, I want to be, but no, I'm not. Okay, he wanted to know, uh, apparently, Red Wagon said what brand. Yeah, he said yes, the brand. Oh, okay. Um... Let me see. Let me pull it up. I think it's going to burn the heck out of me, but let me look. No, oh, Kenchi, we are located in uh, South Central Texas. We are uh, just south of Austin. You know what? It doesn't say. I'm sorry. It does not say what it is. I'm so sorry. Usually, all my other skillets are Lodge, but that didn't say Lodge. So my apologies. It doesn't say anything. Absolutely. That is quite an old iron skillet, I believe, isn't it? I'm sorry. That is quite an old iron skillet, oh, I believe, goodness. isn't it? It is so old. All right. So we're also going to put some. And how are you tonight, Vicky White Brewer? Thank you for coming in. This is going to be iron. Uh, yeah, we are absolutely gonna put some onion in here because what's better than anything in the world uh onion and garlic are the best things ever we had some bell pepper and that's really great i'm him for real uh want to know what you're cooking she is cooking like chicken cutlets broccoli pinto beans and also some uh, spicy macaroni shells uh, yep some shells absolutely Oh, it's coming up the well. I'm going to be ready. <laughs> Mustard Queen said all of her cast arms are rescues. <laughs> oh, I know. I get you. There you go. I get you, Monday. I get you. Used with love. Yes, that's what I say. Okay, guys, if you're not using fresh cracked pepper, then you are doing a disservice to yourself. So here's fresh ground pepper. And I'm fixing to add, right? I'm fixing to add some, I don't know what you guys use, but I use kosher salt. I end up having to use a lot of salt on my own because that's what I am. I'm a salty thing. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna season with in the first place. And then all I'm gonna do in here is put the chicken down. That's great. Thanks for that piece of knowledge, Red Wagon. The BSR is for Birmingham Stove and Range. Oh, no. It is not that. Let me feel this. It's going to go off. Stop. Oh, yeah. That's, that's a beauty. Let's go. All right. So we have got ourselves a cornbread piece. We got ourselves a cornbread. Shaky, 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 shaky. Make shake, 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 shaker set. Shake. Shaky. You see it? It's Looks shaky. delicious. All right, Mark's already got salivating. He is salivating. My man loves, loves his cornbread. Me too. I sure do. All right, so we have got over here our bell peppers and onions. I've got my pinto beans that I cooked earlier this morning. I soaked them overnight. And guys, there are so many ways that people cook pinto beans. This is just the way my grandmother and my mom taught me. I've also, if you guys follow me, I have also done it in the Instant Pot. It is absolutely on my page. But you know what? These are my favorite. You know, we're, we get very proud. And you know, unfortunately, because this is later and I had to put these in the refrigerator, this is not the beautiful pink broth, but listen, my mother said the best beans are the lightest pink. Well, I get that, Mama. Uh, and she's passed. I'm so sorry, but I tried as hard as I can. But you know what? You do what you do. If you, if you work, you do what you can do, right? That's what I do. And so now we're going to get ready to put some of this 
shells. Listen, this is one of my favorite things. This is not from my mom or not from my grandmother. It's just from knowing how delicious it is. So we're just gonna put some medium shells. These are just, you know, this is our brand in Texas, ATP. This is just a brand, medium shells. I'm just gonna add some. This is one of my favorite things in the whole wide world. Hey, Jeanette. Good evening. How you doing? Thanks for coming in. Oh, my goodness. I mean, could I measure it? Yeah. Should I? Probably. Let me go ahead and do that because, yeah, people are going to say, how much did you put in? So, boiling water. I'm going to put one cup in. One cup and about three extra. Thank you, everybody, for coming in. If you just joined in, you're watching the Food Talk TV. And we're just uh, going to go ahead and stir it. You know, I don't know if you guys know how great it is to stir something with a knife. It's awesome. All right. So that's being stirred up. What we're going to end up adding to that, oh, maybe I should do two cups. Let's just do two cups just to make it better. We'll do two cups because I'm old. Hey, Kimberly Fed, thanks for I coming know in. That okay, so there's two cups. And Tessie, how are you tonight? Good hey, to see you. Tessie and Kimberly, come on. Yes, everyone, uh, good evening to all. And uh, if you've just come in, uh, you're watching Food Talk TV. All right, We're guys. on seven days a week, sometimes multiple times a day. And uh, our show tonight, first show of The Spice is Right. And uh, Melissa, as you can see, uh, is uh, cooking chicken cutlet. That is oh, the. Oh, uh, we cooking chicken cutlets now. Yes, and uh, she is also preparing spicy shells, pinto beans, and broccoli tonight. And we just made cornbread. Okay, so in the pasta here, that is about two cups, and we are going to add some. Rotel, this is not really Rotel. This is generic, but do you know what it is? It's still diced tomatoes with green chilies, right? Same thing. We're gonna add some just regular tomato sauce. That's all we're gonna do. It's not a big deal. I mean, this is not a big deal, but I can tell you what, it is delicious. And we're gonna add some real butter and a whole lot of fresh cracked pepper. Because that is what's so delicious. Hey, DJ Talk, good to see you. How you doing tonight? Hey, DJ Talk, thank you so much, my friend, for coming in. Yeah, thank you all for coming in to Food Talk so TV tonight. Awesome. So, if uh, you're not following Food Talk TV yet, please uh, give us a follow. Uh, Great creators on seven days a week, sometimes multiple times a day. So there is plenty of great uh, cooking awesome. creators to watch day in, day out. So uh, please uh, give us a follow. And if any of you are cooks and interested in being a part of Food Talk TV, you can actually submit a tape for uh, review and uh, could be a potentially part of the show if you just go on the Food Talk so TV awesome. bio. Uh, there is a link there where you can submit a tape. Please do. We are always looking for great talent. I'm so excited. I'm so honored to have been called out to do something. I am, uh, I, I can't even tell you, I'm so proud. Yep, thank you for the follow, DJ Talk. And uh, our individual channel, by the way, is uh, Melissa Murr. That is our TikTok location that we normally uh other than being on food talk tv broadcast on so uh okay guys y'all well. can see that i have broccoli and carrots in here they're almost done and so you know when you do chicken cutlets if you do them right they're going to be really thin so i'm working on this right now because i want this to be what we're smothering them in I was going to do lemon chicken cutlets, but no, I'm just going to do chicken cutlets because, yeah. DJ Talk wanted to know, was that a steamer? It, well, it's what they call on QVC, because I know DJ Talk 
is absolutely a foodie like me. It is like a fifth burner steamer or fifth burner pot. That's what I got it from. And I didn't pay the price that she usually wanted. I went in and I looked and I got it another one. This is awesome if you want to do a scaredness or corn or anything. That's exactly what uh, Jeanette, one of our mods, said using the asparagus steamer. Yes, absolutely. You can, if, if you're a person that likes to use dirty water dogs or whatever you call them, boiled hot dogs, it's great for that. I like to grow my hot dogs, but yeah, I use it for asparagus, I use it for broccoli, I use it for, um, I absolutely love it for hard boiled eggs. So you guys can see, right, that I am cooking the bell pepper and onion down. Thank you, Kunchi, for the friendship necklaces. You still throwing gifts out. That's awesome. We appreciate that, Kunchi. Thank you for the love. Thank you, guys. We look we forward really to watching you here in the next uh, couple days. Yep, Trini said she loves steamed asparagus. Wow. I love, I, listen, Trini, you know what's crazy about me? I will go buy a can of asparagus, open it up, and eat it out of a can. Kenji said he loves how you're uh, working it low and slow, doing the saute. Low saute. And slow. That's what you yep. do. Thank you, sir. I love how you do your stuff, too. I love it. All right, let's check these nudes. No, nudes aren't ready. Yep. No nudes. Nudes are not ready. Yep. All right. Dixie says she's like that with spinach. Mm -hmm. I love raw spinach. Did you give me cooked spinach? Near? Nar, 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 nar. <laughs> uh, DJ Talk uh, wanted to know, did you put any butter to brown the peppers. Did you put any butter in there? Yes, sir. I sure did. I put butter and um, extra virgin olive oil. Yes. Uh, thank you, Kaz, for pointing that out. Meet the Fire with Kunchi is on tomorrow afternoon. So y'all, uh, please watch him. Uh, Wednesday, I believe we have a red wagon. And uh, hey. y'all, please check all the other creators out on Top TV. All right, so guys, does anybody know what we're doing with our produce? Do you see this breast? This is crazy. Listen, I, I grew up in a farming community and I've never seen a chicken with a breast like this. So I'm gonna be butterflying it, right? But I, I mean, I'm just, I'm just trying to be honest. I've never seen anything like it. Oh, yeah. Yum, yum, yum. Guys, do not put garlic in your pan when you're brown and stuff. Because if you are, you're going to burn it and it's going to taste very bitter. All right. So, I'm going to do the best I can. This is still partially frozen. I thought it out earlier today because I'm a big time preparer. And it's just because it's so thick. I mean, I don't even know what else to do at this point, okay? Thank you, Babs, for mentioning that. Yes, everybody, uh, we love the support and the taps and we're almost at 30,000 so we thank y'all so much for all the yes, support. Yes, thank you guys. Thank you. And thank you guys for following Food Talk TV. Really, we really appreciate you guys doing that because it is an excellent, excellent channel. Okay, look, so here we go. I'm going to put my hand here and I'm going to cut. Mm -hmm. I'm going to uh, can you move that bag a little bit, please? It's it's in here. There you go. Still in the way. All right. So now I'm going to cut again. So we're going to get three chickens or pieces, right? Because I'm not trying to cut my hand off. Because, guys, if you don't know, if you don't follow me, 
I sharpen my knives every single time. I would cut my finger straight off for my hand. I am all about sharpening. All about it. All right, so. All right, well, we've got these all cut up. We're gonna spice them up, which, you know, I'm kind of original. I know our name is The Spice is Right, but you know, sometimes you don't need to over spice stuff, right? Let me wash my hands, guys. I'll be right there. Let me wash my hands. Thank you, Raina, for the follow. We appreciate you following Food Talk TV. And Absolutely. Thank you for uh, finding us and joining us tonight. Yes. Please make sure you follow the other creators. All right. So, as you can see, guys, we have got bell pepper. We've got onion. No garlic. You don't see any garlic up in here. All. This is just grilled onions and bell pepper. All right, a little bit of oil. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put, listen, what do you wanna put on anything? Fresh cracked pepper, every day, all day. Fresh cracked pepper. Thank you for coming in, Beach Girl Anna, and thank you for following Food Talk TV. We appreciate you coming in. We wanna put fresh cracked pepper all day, every day. Ah, get off of here. We want to put fresh cracked pepper all day, every day on everything. You know what? How many of you guys use kosher salt? I love kosher salt. And you know, I am so like, I'm an older person, obviously. And I love it. I love it. Oh yeah, let's go. Mm -hmm. Let's go. You know, we don't have to over spice things. There are so many people that overspice them. I don't agree with that. How about let's just do what it needs to do? Let's not overspice anything at all. So let me wash my hands before I, my, I touch my pepper grinder again. Babs mentioned pink salt. Oh, yeah, pink salt. Pink salt's awesome. I love yep. pink salt, too. So did Heather, pink Himalayan salt, yes. I love it. I love pink Himalayan salt, for sure. Trini likes the kosher. Mm-hmm. Nice variety of salts that people are yeah, I love liking and enjoying. I use pink salt a lot. Well, there you go, Cass. Table salt for him. Okay. Well, and I use that, too. Absolutely. But when I'm cooking, I'm either using pink or I'm using kosher. And it doesn't matter. No one's better than the other. It's just your preference, right? Yes, and uh, Captain Kirk uh, said pink salt. Yeah, pink salt's great. I love it. All right, so I just put kosher salt and harsh, or coarse, not harsh. Absolutely, just, just coarse pepper, fresh cracked pepper. Because, you know, I really think we need to have that. We absolutely do need to have that fresh cracked pepper. Let's so, take our noodles, guys. Could, could you uh, briefly mention uh, for Kirk what uh, differentiates pink salt from other salt? Um, pink salt has been said, and, you know, I don't want to weigh in as a nurse, Obviously, I mean, I don't want that to weigh in ever, but Himalayan salt is supposed to be from the Himalayans and, you know, maybe it is, maybe it's not, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I'm trying to go by <laughs> what I know as a nurse and I don't want to weigh in on that. So the bottom line for me is I'm just trying to do what I think tastes best to me and to my husband. That's it. Yep. Sorry. I'm sure that's not a good enough explanation, but I tried really hard. Hey, good evening, Linda Muncy and Warden. Thank oh, y'all both for Linda coming in. Linda Muncy, talk about a chef. Linda Muncy is a chef. Linda Muncy is a true 100% chef. I'm not a chef. I'm a home cook. I bow down to whatever Linda Muncy says. Yes, thank y'all for coming in as well as everybody else tonight. We appreciate it. Melissa is making, if you've just joined us, 
on these spices, right? She's making chicken cutlets tonight. You can see they are on the uh, stove right now. It's also got uh, some broccoli in the steamer. Mm -hmm. She's got some spicy shells. It will be spicy one of the, shortly. Uh, pots over there, <laughs> yes. And uh, we're having pinto beans as well. Yeah, oh, you can't beat pinto beans. And cornbread. And cornbread, the yes. Heck Heckerson. Yes. Okay, so my last meal in the whole wide world, my last meal. Let's say somebody found out that I did something I shouldn't have done to my husband, Mark, okay? And I had a last <laughs> meal. And it's going to be pinto beans, cornbread, onions, um, a homegrown tomato and some fried okra and an iced tea that's unsweet. Mm. Yes. And a piece of chocolate pie. That's going to be my last meal. Yeah. Hopefully you're not going to have to worry about that. Yeah. No, no. I don't have enough energy no. to do that. Yep. Jeanette said, ooh, we yum to all that. So, and thank you everybody for the, uh, 31 plus uh, oh K goodness. likes right you now. Guys are so Greatly sweet. appreciate. Thank yeah, you all you for your so uh, support and your love. I don't, I want this to get a little bit browner. It looks pretty good, but I'm going to go, I'm going to turn it up just a little bit. Now, I'm getting ready over here to our new, 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 new. It can do like a couple more seconds, and I'm going to drain it, and then we're going to add, you know what we're going to add? We're going to add some butter. We're going to add some Rotel. This isn't Rotel. This is the generic Rotel. This is not Rotel. It's not, right? It doesn't say Rotel. You guys don't have to buy the name brand. Know that. This just says original diced tomatoes with green chilies. You guys don't have to buy the name brand. Thank okay. you, Angel73, for the follow. We appreciate you following Food Talk TV tonight. And here's tomato sauce, right? You guys don't have to buy, you know, Contadina, whatever. I love Contadina. I'm just going to tell you straight up. But you don't have to. And, you know, it, it's okay. The key is you guys need to use fresh cracked pepper. You need to give, do good salt. You don't have to use great pasta. You don't have to do great, well, listen, let me, let me take that back. So mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to take this back. So, pinto beans, I'm sorry, but come on, y'all. Look at this. Give me a break right now. Look at this. Come on. Those are casserole beans. If you can't get them where you live, you need to order them. They're the best. Yeah, Melissa swears by those for sure. Yeah, they're absolutely the best ever. I'm with Jeanette. Jeanette said, gotta have the diabetes in a glass. AKA the sweet tea. <laughs> no sweet tea. No, no. Well, for me, no. But you guys see you. I mean, I'm not anybody's mama, but no. Yeah, Heather said sometimes the store brands are actually better than the brand names. That's true. You're absolutely right, Heather. Guys, you see this? I don't have any garlic on here. What am I doing? How do I not have any garlic on here? Well, not like me. No, it's not. But you know what? I don't want to burn it. So I'm going to turn it down just a little bit. We've got 15 minutes left. We've got ourselves a great, great cornbread right here. Look at that cornbread. You're getting a lot of yummies from people. Look at that cornbread. That's a great cornbread. Getting a lot of yums and yummies from uh, folks in the chat. Thank you guys. I appreciate it so much. You guys are awesome. And thank you, everybody. Uh, Babs uh, mentioned, uh, please, if you're happy and you know it, tap, tap, tap. Yeah, if we you're happy that. and you know it, tap, tap, tap. If you're happy and you know it, you're awesome. There's hey, nothing better than being happy, guys. Good to see you, Pam. She said happy Blade Mother's Day to you. Mm. She loves you. Oh, thank you so much. You're so sweet. Yes, DJ Talk, we do have a gas stove. Melissa loves the gas stove. Yeah, I, I, we, we bought this house five years ago. It was brand new. And I'm like, I'm not going to look at any house that didn't have a gas stove. However, I also love my induction burner. 
Okay. And I told Mark, I'm like, I'm going to get, like Pat has, I'm going to get a multiple reduction. <laughs> this is just one name, a card, or a card anymore. Because guess what? I got to go back and clean this all up. Yeah. I'm like, what? Yeah. But I love gas. There's nothing to me like cooking on gas. But you've got to have time to do it. Yeah. Biggie White Brewer said, yummy. Jeanette said, obviously, Texas-based. What gave that away, Jeanette? Our accents or the H-E-B uh, oh on all goodness. the labels? Jeanette. <laughs> <laughs> Wilton, thank you very much for the uh, follow. Thank you for following Food Talk TV tonight. We and, uh, appreciate it, God. Absolutely. We appreciate everything you guys do. If any of you are new to Food Talk TV, please give us a follow. We appreciate it. This is actually uh, Melissa and I's first live tonight. It is. So uh, we uh, are glad you all tuned in and uh, hope you will continue to tune in to other creators seven days a week on Food I Talk I want y'all to see this. These are the shells. I'm going to drain them right now because this is, I think this is the best part of the whole meal. Well, the pinto beans are really better, but I'm gonna drain this and then I'm gonna make these spicy shells. Oh, hey, Jen, thank you for becoming a team member. Team member 194, thank you for joining the Food Talk TV uh, team. And uh, yeah, Jeanette says she's in North Texas. She knows a fellow Texan. <laughs> there you go. Hey, Curly, how are you? Curly's in here, 65 bet, and so is Capricorn Rising. Hey, Melissa, oh, good Melissa. to see you. Thank you both for coming in. Melissa. Woo! Yep, Bab said, love shell. Mm -hmm. Heather said, you're killing it. Thank you guys for all the nice comments. Thank y'all. Hey, Montemary, good to see you. Thanks for coming in tonight. On the all menu right. tonight, we have chicken cutlets. Broccoli. I'm put, I don't know how much y'all saw, but I just put like four tablespoons because I have little small, I have really smaller one sticks than you guys have, maybe. But yeah, this was a half of a stick. So I just put it in. And I'm going to stir it up. Mm -hmm. Yum, yum, yum. So we're talking spicy shells. How spicy are we we looking? Um, not as spicy as mommy wishes they were. <laughs> Mommy's me. But yeah, I like them spicy, but this isn't what they are. They're called spicy shells because we're gonna add some rotel or well, let me let me take that back. It's not rotel, right? It's not rotel. It is generic tomato with green color. And you know what? You don't have to have a color on. You sure don't. All right. So you guys saw that I put half a stick of butter. And let me just say it's salted butter. If you want to put unsalted butter, you sure can. But this was half a stick of salted butter. Okay? And now you're going to put some fresh cracked pepper in it on the big grind because that's what I want, big grind. Thank you, Mary Spurrell, for the follow. We appreciate you uh, following Food Talk TV tonight. Thank you for tuning in. All right. So here we go. So there's that. And we're going to toss it around because I already drained it, guys. I don't know if you saw that, but I already drained the pasta. So this is what's left. And now, I'm going to add the Rotel or the, not Rotel, the generic Rotel. Okay. And we're going to do this on very low heat. Very low heat. Don't put the juice in there, guys. Just low heat. All right. So we're just going to go low heat. Mark, low heat. And guess what? You guys can save this for another recipe. That's a liquid. All right, tomato sauce. Shake it up, shake it, shake it. I already washed the can, so don't come at me for me to wash the can. I'll wash the can. Well, 
Listen, I'm not new to this. I just need a, I just need a food talk to you. Don't come for me. All right, so we're going to add half a can of tomato sauce. And we're going to stir it up. And we're just going to see what it looks like. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh, no, down on the ground. Oh, that's good. Oh, wait. No, no, no. Let's go. Oh, no. Hey, look. Mmm, mmm. -hmm. Mama says that is good. Mmm. Oh, my gosh. I only wish that we had gravy at this time. I'm going to add just a little bit more tomato sauce because I can. Now, uh, Jen would like to know what this, uh, what you're using there to actually make it spicy tonight. Uh, that would be the Rotel tomatoes or the generic chili, tomatoes and chili, and fresh cracked black pepper. Oh my goodness, that is so good. Hey, okay. Teresa, how are you? Good to see you, Teresa. Thanks for coming in. Mm. Oh my goodness, that is so good, guys. And as you can see, Melissa is stirring spicy macaroni shells currently. Uh, we've also got the chicken cutlets, as you can see, on oh the, my the goodness, oven. That is so good. It looks it. It is so good. She also made broccoli tonight and pinto beans and cornbread. I'm going to flip this over again and go, oh my God, I've got to clean my stove before I go on next week. Because you know what? It's not going to be cleaned again before that. <laughs> That's just the way it is. Thank you, Rose Stoney Hobbs, for the follow. We appreciate you coming in tonight to Food Talk TV, finding us, and uh, joining in this evening. All right. Also, Janet Luss, 591, thank you as well for the follow. We appreciate oh, nice. all the new uh, followers so and viewers. Thank you so much. All right, so we've got, we have got one huge, ginormous chicken breast. This was huge, huge, ginormous, huge, okay? It was huge, and I cut it into three sections, all right? And I sauteed it with a little bit of oil and onion and bell pepper. And I cannot wait to taste it. I also have done broccoli and carrots. I've done pinto beans. I have done like some spicy shells, right? Spicy shells and tomatoes. Because here in Texas, you know, pasta and tomatoes is a big deal. This is spicy. I don't know that anybody cares about it, but I don't care. I do care about it. It's delicious. And I also made some cornbread. So we're getting ready to eat this. We're very excited for mm -hmm. it. Thank you, Teresa, for the roses. Appreciate that very much. Thanks for supporting Thank you, Food Talk Teresa. TV. And thanks, Kimberly Faye, for the follow. Thank you all for coming in tonight and uh, watching Melissa make her chicken cutlets, cornbread, pinto beans, broccoli, and spicy shells, which she is stirring at the moment. Oh my goodness, I could eat this all day, every day. My kids are like, Mama, how do you do it? Because they're all grown up. And I'm like, um, honey, it's so easy. Come on, let's go. You've gotten a lot of, a lot of nice compliments tonight on your haircut, too. Everybody seems to really like your haircut. You guys are so sweet. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate that. I really, really appreciate that. I got tired of messing with it. I don't have time. I don't have time to mess with my hair. Screw it. I don't have time. Teresa said she hoped she had a nice Mother's Day. And oh. I, I hope uh, all of you moms out there had a wonderful Mother's Day as well. Thank you, Teresa. And yet, yesterday was actually a Food Talk TV creator, Cass. Okay. Yes. The, the big man. Birthday. That was his birthday. Yes. And he was on cooking last night as well. Made a delicious peach pork chops. Oh my goodness. Yeah, fabulous. All right, guys. So, what we're going to do is we're going to add some water to this pan because you know that's what we do. We've got to deglaze the pan. And we're going to 
Maria said she wished you had considered a mohawk, and she said you're doing great tonight. Maria, you are the most precious person I've ever met in my entire life. Thank you, everybody, so much for tuning in tonight to Food Talk TV. We appreciate uh, everybody's time out there and we sure uh, taking do. out of your busy days to Absolutely. watch us. And uh, don't forget, seven days a week, Food Talk TV is on with the uh, other wonderful creators. Sometimes uh, we're on multiple times a day, so there is plenty of wonderful creators to watch. Always. And check out and uh, you can also uh, look at the website, uh, foodtalktv.com. Uh, get the schedule there as well. And if any of you are uh, cooks and are interested in possibly joining the uh, Food Talk TV family as far as being a creator, uh, you can go to the uh, bio and there's a link in the bio to submit a uh, tape awesome. for our audition. So uh, that is an option as well if you're interested. We are so delighted about that. All right, guys, I'm just gonna plate this up. I'm gonna plate it up right now. And listen, I'm gonna plate it up on a divided dish. We don't have, you know, some people have an inversion to having their food touching. I'm just plating it up on a divided dish because Mark loves our divided dishes. <laughs> oh, right. thanks, Heather. Heather said such great creators on this channel. Here Obsessed. You, you see this? Does, yeah, we're not going to worry about it. We're just going to plate it up as it is. You know what I did, guys? All I did was add some water to the pan because you know what? We wanted to glaze the pan because that, the fawn, is what's so delicious. And it is. All right. So, and then I added just a little bitty bit of butter. Just a little bit. Nothing more. Just a little bit. I'm gonna put this up here, a little bit of juice. We're gonna add some broccoli, right? Because we love us some broccoli. Broc, 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 broccoli. Good evening, uh, Vanessa Navars. Thank you for the follow. Thank you. I appreciate you. you coming into Food Talk TV. Melissa made some chicken cutlets tonight, which she's plating currently. As you can see, she also is plating some broccoli. At this point, we also have some spicy shells, pinto beans, and cornbread. Mm -hmm. Mark loves carrots. You guys, you guys that have been following me for any amount of time know that my man loves him some carrots. All right, so there that is. And we're going to go over here and we're going to get a little bit of spicy shells. Oh, DS Kinsey is back. Thanks uh, for coming back in, DS Kinsey, and sharing the live. Thank you. Thank you, Pam, so too, for sharing the live. Thank you. We really do appreciate it. All right, and so here's his pinto beans. Bab says she loves the plates. I know. You know what? I've had so many people reach out for that. Let me, guys, let me cut a piece of cornbread, okay? And then I'll put it over there. Mark is a cornbread freak. Um, so yeah, he'll, he'll have some of this for breakfast tomorrow, to be honest. And just on a side note, I will not be eating all this food in one sitting. No, we're <laughs> going to be sharing it, but yeah. All right. So here's his cornbread and we're just going to put it here and let it just go. Mm. I'll eat butter out of the stick any day. All right. Yeah, there are some definitely votes for divided plates. Hey guys, look at this. All right, so we have got just a sauteed chicken, right, with onion and bell pepper. We've got steamed broccoli and carrots. We have got um, shells with, mm. I call them spicy shells, okay? So it's got a little bit of rotel and tomato sauce. We've got pinto beans and we've got some cornbread. I, listen, I dare you to find a better dinner anywhere. Y'all ready to eat it? Let's hey, go. Forge. Thanks for coming in. Forge said yummy. Thank you, Forge. Come on, Mark. Let's go. Let's Dixie said it. lovely. Get a lot of nice comments. Thank you all. Okay. I'm gonna, oh, y'all are so sweet. I'm going to eat John over here and take a taste. Yes, let's go, sir. Mm -hmm. All right. Here we go, guys. Hello. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. That is. You like it, honey? That's 
awesome. Okay. Guys, let me tell you a key to using bell peppers. If somebody has indigestion, you've got to cut all the white out, mm. not just Broccoli. the seeds, but all the white. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Take about a little bit of everything here real quick. Mm. Yeah, definitely not too hot for me. No, it's delicious. Pentos. Pento beans. Oh, real. Mm. And? Cornbread. Okay, yeah. Mark's trying to hold himself back from the cornbread because <laughs> Mark is all about the cornbread. Wait, man, I'm trying to hold myself back from everything <laughs> right now. Thank you guys for all the nice comments. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. Good. I'm so glad you like it, baby. Yeah, I am ready to uh, tear it all. Awesome. <laughs> okay, guys. We appreciate you. Thank we you. Thank you for everything. Yes, thank you all for all the love and support you've given yes. us tonight on Food Talk TV. Yes, and you guys follow Food Talk TV. We are also on our independent uh, channel on TikTok, Melissa Murd. Yes. Y'all follow us there, but absolutely thank you so much to Food Talk TV for yes. inviting absolutely. us to be a creator. We absolutely are so honored. Yes, we have had wonderful experience with this and uh, look forward to show number two next Monday. Yes! So we appreciate, thank you all for the privilege of your time and uh, tuning in with us and uh, remember every day Food Talk TV is on with other great creators so uh, time please, today. please uh, check them out as well uh, the rest of this week and hope to see uh, all of you back on uh, next Monday. Thank right. you guys. Thank you guys. Y'all have a great evening. Love you guys. I love you guys. Thank you.